Hi, it's Kim from Be Your Own Graphic Designer and a Canva Canvasador. Today I wanted to cover another of the options from the new Magic Suite. Now this one is not quite perfect. I'll go through what the limitations are as well. And this is the grab text. Let me go over to my screen and we'll take a look. As we're very close to Christmas, I've got a bit of a Christmassy theme going on here with various examples to show you. To find Magic Text Grab, you first need to click on your image. This is a photo, it works in photos. Then click Edit Photo. And here you can see Grab Text. Just click on that and it automatically goes and finds the text. You can't select the text that you want it to grab. You have to go with what it finds. And it does take a bit of time to do this, but now it has. And I could use Magic Write with it and change it. Or I can just, as you can see, I can now move this around. And I'm going to add a page here. And let's put a, some elements in here. And oh, let's put this in. And I'll just get that to set as background image. And I'm going to go back to my text. And I'm going to drag it down. So you can see, you can use it, drag it down. And here I can now edit it. So I can change the color, I can change the font, change it to glacial and different. So you see it's a very different font now. Change the color. Change, oh, let's not change it to blue, change it to pink. And do what you want with it. Now you've moved it. Obviously I can change the spacing as well. So. And that's how easy it is to use. But it does have limitations. And I just want to show you some of these. Straightforward, what Canva is describing as Latin text, it works perfectly. But if your text is anything slightly different, then you'll have problems. So let me just go to this one. This obviously is a very nice scroll type text. So options such as bold, italic, or underlined text are not available yet. But I did try this one and it did just about work. So let's just see this. Again, Click the grab text. We'll think about it. And you can see it has changed a bit, but I can still grab and move the text. It's matched a text for me. I don't know which this was, as I just uploaded a photo. And I can just change the text. But if I change it to something else, let me change it to one of the Geographic Designer texts. You can see now that's very visible that it has made some errors doing this. It doesn't go well with any kind of fancy italic type script. And you can't control which text it extracts, but obviously I can edit it afterwards and edit out any errors. And it must've just taken the S, some of the curly images and made that into an S because that's what it read. You can still use it, but you do have to be careful with these areas. And this is another one. Now this looks more of like a straightforward script. So I thought I'd try this one as well. And let's go to edit photo. I'm just waiting for the grab text to work. And there's a bit more text here. And there's underlining. Now this is really interesting because it's changed the text from what it saw into multiple fonts. And it's made some mistakes as well. These are just things I'm warning you about. It is amazing if you want to move some text around from one area to another, but it does have its limitations currently. I'm sure as Canva works on this and it improves it, you'll be able to do more things with it. But as I said, I now could take this, I can then change it all into a single font if I want, but I don't have to rewrite all the text, which is the nice thing. So I'm just going to change that to Central Gothic. And you can see, it's really not that far away. I just would need to put the apostrophe back and now I'm editing it. It doesn't want to move it around. I'm just going to go over Canva's advice on using this feature. As you can see, it's only available for Canva Pro, Canva Teams, Canva for Education, and Canva for Nonprofit. And there's some areas that it's not available in, like in China, because it doesn't cover those kind of symbols. And this is what I really wanted to cover. Enhanced form text formatting options such as bold, italic, or underlined are not yet available, but obviously they plan to make them available. You can't control which text to extract, and some may not be recognized on an image or document. They happen to recognize all the ones that I used, and I did use a different variety of them. Currently don't support rotated text, arch text, non-Latin scripts, and multi-page. 
Adjusted transparency can cause grab text to appear strange on images. You may experience a temporary technical error while using this AI feature. It does try to match the text in the image with a similar font and position it correctly. And you can see it was doing that quite well, but sometimes this doesn't work perfectly. When this happens, select the text and format it to suit your needs. And I demonstrated that to you. Sometimes it doesn't recognize a word. When this happens, you can manually erase it from the image with magic eraser and add a new text element from the elements panel. I also sometimes use little artifacts of text, so just some traces of text in the image. And when this happens, you can use magic eraser to remove them. And sometimes it creates made up text, particularly from patterns or line drawings. And so you just have to simply delete it. it only works with Latin text. I hope that helps to give you an idea about this new feature and what you can do. And you can now copy it, grab it, move it to another page. This is an example of what Canva describes as the little artifact. So I'm gonna to have to go in with this one now. So this was left over from the previous script and I go to edit photo and do magic eraser. And let's just brush that out. And now it's gone. Basically, it's a fantastic way of moving text around and also not having to type everything all over again. But it does have its limitations currently, though like all these AI tools, I'm sure it will improve. I hope you found this video useful. And if you do, please click the notify bell and subscribe to, our, to my YouTube channel. I'd really appreciate it. Have a very happy Christmas, everyone, and I'll see you soon.